Hello there! I hope you're doing really well and having a good start to the day. So in today's exercise video, we are going to be focused on working your core and your back. And I want to thank all of you who have filled out the survey recently to let me know that you love core exercises. So good to know that. So there will be a lot more of them as we continue. All right, so let's get started with a warm up. Now, most of these exercises will be done in the chair, but we'll do a few standing exercises too. So let's start with our warm up. We're gonna take those arms side to side. Now, if you do have osteoporosis, face the front of the room. Otherwise, you can twist a bit deeper. And again, you guys know me, but make sure you're always sitting on the edge of that chair, unless I say otherwise. This just gives you a bit more space to move without worrying about hitting the chair with your hand. All right. Now from here, we're going to bring the arms up overhead. So reaching and lowering the arms beside you. Now our core muscles are not just in the front of our stomachs, but also they make up the side and even go into our lower back as well. So making sure that we are moving and stretching every day really makes a big difference. All right, let's go for two. And one. All right, from here, we're gonna bring your arms right in front and we'll squeeze your shoulder blades back. So reach and squeeze back. Inhale and exhale. So this is option one, squeezing back. And I do suggest this for anyone who does have back issues or if your back is a little bit weak or it's been giving you problems in the past. Now option two is taking a little further. So leaning and then continuing to squeeze back. So adding the additional stretch by reaching a bit further. All right, looks good. So we should feel this in the back. Good. Let's go for three. Two more. And last one. All right, from here, we're gonna bring your arms to the side and let's do some shoulder rolls. Very good. And then we'll change directions. We'll go the other way. Okay, now don't worry if you hear some <laughs> creaking or any sound effects. That's pretty normal, this part of our body. All right, let's go for three, two, and one. Now bring those hands to your shoulders. We're gonna lift your elbows high and lower down. Very good. Now this is option one, keeping your hands here on your shoulders. Option two is to lengthen your arms and to reach up overhead and tap those hands together. Now keep the palms of your, your hands facing the front of the room if you choose this option. Good, and then the other option of course is here. So if you do have any shoulder issues, stick with this option with number one. All right, let's go for three, two, and one. All right, awesome. So we're going to get moving into our first core exercise and we're going to be sitting on the edge of your chair. Option one is to bring your hands together like I'm already doing and we're going to be tapping those hands to your hips. So side to side, lifting and doing a big semicircle in front of you. All right, so this is option number one. As you're tapping to your hip each time, I want you to tighten your core. As you lift, relax your core, and then tighten your core again as you tap. All right, good, now keep on breathing. I find it's easier to breathe in as you tighten. Relax and breathe out, tighten, breathe in. But as long as you're breathing, that's the most important part. All right, looks good. Let's go for three. And two. And one. 
All right, good. Now from here, we're gonna be leaning back against the chair. So we're on a bit of an angle, you can see. And we're going to lengthen one leg nice and straight, slightly out to the side. Now you can keep one hand here on your hip, the other arm is gonna reach up overhead. And what we'll do is we're gonna tighten your core as you lift your hand, or lower your hand to touch your knee, and then lower the foot to the floor, reach your arm up. So option one is to do a little bit of a, a smaller movement. Do this if you have any hip or shoulder issues. And you're gonna be tapping to the floor each time. Option two, lengthen the arm and leg. You'll notice a bit of a difference. Your core has to work a little bit more if you don't touch the floor. All right, so choose your option, option one or two. If you are in between, what you can do is you can do the option one, and then option two and go back and forth between the two. All right, tightening that core. I'm sure you can feel something happening. You also may feel something in the legs. I'm sure, I'm sure. All right, and let's go for two more per side. And one. All right, good. Now let's sit up tall, use the core to bring yourself up to a, a, a straighter position. Take the knees out and in, make sure your feet are together. All right, very good. So we've done one side, let's move to the other side next. Again, lean back. All right, lift this arm, hand stays on this hip. Option one, tap and lift. Breathing in and out. And then option two, lengthen the leg, reach the arm a little higher. Or you can meet somewhere in the middle, like I'm gonna do, one of each. And doing one of each of the options that I give in different exercises at all can be a really good transition if you're finding that option one is starting to become a little bit easier. So it's good to challenge ourselves. So I would say that would be the intermediate level is alternating um, to, from option to option. Good, let's go for a few more here. Feeling the leg, feeling the core, tightening it every time you lift the knee. Very good, let's go for three, two, and one. All right, good. Let's lean over here. Stretch the back. Keep that back nice and straight. You can choose to stay here or lengthen, reach to, reaching towards the floor or your, your shoes. Okay, take a few deep breaths. And then we're going to come on up. All right. Now we're going to move into a great exercise for your back next. Now, if you've got a, a weight handy, grab the weight. If you don't have a weight, you can use a water bottle or a can. That works too. So we're gonna lean over, lean over slightly, keeping your back nice and straight. I like to rest my arm along my legs like this. You're gonna straighten your arm. You wanna be making sure you're not leaning to the side. Keep yourself centered. And then we're going to be bending your elbow. Lift the weight and lower down. Good. So breathe in on the way down. Exhale and lift. Inhale and exhale. So we are working the upper part of your back. And be sure to squeeze your shoulder blade back as well. All right, looks good. Now remember our affirmation for this month, which is, I am energized, I am motivated. All right, one more. Let's rise up nice and slow, change to the other side, but first circle this arm back. All right, very good. So let's do the other side here. So again, we wanna lean forwards, arm across, Arm straight and bend that elbow. Really think about squeezing your shoulder blade to lift. Inhale down, exhale lift. Let's 
let's go for three and two and one all right awesome switch sides circle this arm backwards all right very good so from here we're going to be moving into another exercise for the core let's lower the weight to the floor all right so make sure you're on the edge of your chair and then recline back now option one is lifting one leg at a time tightening your core every time you lift your knee and option two is doing our double leg lift slowly up slowly down so just notice if your legs kind of thump down like that you want to avoid that instead we want this to be more of a slow-mo move <laughs> good now if you're having trouble with this it could be because you're sitting really really straight so make sure you are right on the edge of your chair that will make a huge huge difference and then if you are looking for that intermediate in between you can choose to do one one and both together working the core and I do recommend also placing your hand on your stomach if you're not really sure, am I working my core? Am I tightening up enough? You should feel some tightness happening. <laughs> Good. Now, I love hearing from you guys. I love hearing your wins. So be sure to leave a comment under the video or send me an email. Recently, I heard from a member who was saying she's been doing this exercise quite often and she has noticed that now she's able to do both legs after working on it for a number of weeks. So that is so exciting and congratulations. So just know that whether you are at um, doing most of the option ones or you're pushing yourself just a little bit more than you used to, good job, keep up the good work. It's really going to lead to awesome results. All right, I don't know how many we've been doing. <laughs> Lots, so let's go for three more. And two, join me double legs for the last one. Good, and stretch the arms to the side. You can reach overhead, breathe in and out. Good, all right, we're gonna sit a little straighter now. Keep those elbows bent and we'll do another good one for your back arms in bring, bring your elbows in if you can or as close as possible and squeeze back so we'll breathe in and breathe out so this is option one doing this and this can be a really good stretch but if you want to make it into more of a strengthening exercise grab your weights so option two is this hold on to the weights make sure they are long ways I'm gonna take your arms wide and then bring your hands in. Squeeze back, inhale, exhale, bring your weights in together. And you'll notice your arms are working a little bit more. Your back is working too. All right, looks good. Five to go here. And four, three, two and one all right great let's lower the weights circle back all right very good all righty so let's move into another core exercise we'll do our um, our reverse sit up so this is right on the edge of your chair now option one is to bring your arms across your chest you'll want to lower the weights to the side but I'll show you it with the weights if you want an, a bit of an extra push so option one you're gonna be leaning back tightening up that core straight and lean forwards so just slightly feeling the core working as we're leaning back all right now if you do have any back issues or if you have osteoporosis I'd say stick with this stick with number one option two cross those arms over your chest you can actually lean the weights right against your body and try it like this oh it's a little bit more work mm -hmm. now rely on that strong core to bring yourself forward 
Good. And just a reminder, don't touch the back of your chair. All right, good. I'm noticing that difference for sure. All right, good. Let's keep going with five more. And four. Three. Last two. And one more. All right, very good. Gently lower the arms down if you've got your weights. And we're gonna move into a few quick stretches for the back. Let's bring those hands and interlace your fingers. Press away from you. Now stay here if you do have any back issues or osteoporosis, or you can take it a little bit further, pushing away from you. Stretching your up, upper to mid back. Good, bring the arms in, and then place one hand beside you on the chair. Reach one arm overhead. This is option one, or deep in the stretch by leaning slightly to the side. Good, we'll do one more on the side. Good, lifting just the arm. Notice the stretch here, or deepen in. And let's do the other side. Stretching, feeling that. Breathe in and out. And then one more time here. All right, excellent. So let's take those arms out to the side, nice and wide. Give yourself a hug. Breathe in, stretch. Let's look up as well. And then let's look down towards the floor. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Last three. And two. And one. All right, give yourself a pat on your back. Excellent job today. I hope you're feeling really great. Hope you're feeling motivated to keep going. So if you are looking for a bit of a longer workout, feel free to go back into the archives and choose another great exercise video that complements this one. Or if you're ready to move on with the rest of your day, then enjoy. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Meg Stickle from AIM Fitness and this is Fit Finley. And we hope you enjoyed this video brought to you by Macaw. Now make sure to check out the other videos on their website. And if you're looking for more exercise videos with me, be sure to check out my YouTube channel, Activities in Motion, AIM Fitness. We hope you have a wonderful day and hope to see you in another video soon. Bye.